Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I have this chair I'm sitting in to unbox and assemble. Now this is the Secret Lab Titan Stealth Edition. Secret Lab contacted me and asked me if I wanted to review one of their chairs, to which of course I said yes. Now the chair just arrived today and I have just finished putting it together, uh, which I will show you the unboxing and assembly in just a moment. Uh, and then after the unboxing assembly, I'll just wrap it up real quick with some of my initial thoughts on what it's like to sit in this chair. And then I'll come back in about a week or two and do a more in-depth and thorough written and video review on the Titan. Uh, and then maybe even a few months more down the road after that, I'll do another review just to give you an idea of what the long-term experience of sitting in this chair is like. Uh, but with all that being said, let's take a look at the process of unboxing uh, the Titan and assembling it.
In total, the chair took just about 20 minutes or less to put together, and it really wasn't that difficult of a process. Secret Lab does suggest having two people to assemble the chair, uh, but it is definitely doable on your own. Uh, now, for some of my initial thoughts on the chair, first off, uh, the Titan is incredibly comfortable, or at least it is much more so than the standard office chair I've been sitting in for the last couple of years. Uh, and just from sitting in the chair for a bit and playing with the, some of its features and adjust Mint uh, options. I can already tell you that uh, one of the things I'm most excited about is utilizing the recline and tilt feature. Uh, the chair I have now can tilt back and forth, but it cannot relock, uh, lock into a recline position, uh, which the Titan can. And so because the Titan can do so, I'll now be able to at least try out gaming at a little bit more of an angle. I probably won't be reclining too far back when I am working or gaming at my desk, but it will be nice to try out what it is like to sit at a bit more of a reclined angle. Uh, a couple of other things that have stood out to me were the build quality of the chair and the adjustability of the armrests. Uh, the chair is super sturdy and I have no doubts that this thing will last for a long time. And for the armrests, uh, most chairs armrests can only be adjusted up and down, uh, but the Titan's armrests can be adjusted up and down as well as forwards and backwards and uh, a little bit of room side to side. So I should be able to find a pretty comfortable position for my arms with all of those adjustment options. Uh, the Titan also comes with a velour head pillow, which I'm not sure if that's something that I'll end up using very often, but I'm gonna at least test it out. Uh, and if you are someone who is looking for a chair that does come with a pillow uh, and you're considering the Titan, uh, just know that the Titan does come with one. But all in all, my initial impression of the Secret Lab Titan is very positive. Uh, but again, I think with a product like this, I should probably use it for more than 20 to 30 minutes before I give any kind of concrete opinion on it. But needless to say, I am excited to sit in this chair for the time being and to do a more in-depth review on it once I have a good feel for the experience it will deliver. In any case though, I just wanted to show you the unboxing and assembly of the chair and just give you some of my initial thoughts on it. If you are looking for a racing style gaming chair, uh, definitely stay tuned and come back to the channel uh, for when the longer review comes out. All right, that was just a quick look at the Secret Lab Titan. Thank you for watching and thank you to Secret Lab for sending us this chair to review. I'll see you all next time.